Uh, it, the extra privacy and security, that's the thing. I'm not a private person, obviously. I, I do live streams. I'm on YouTube. You know, if people want to find out information about me, it's not that difficult. Uh, and, and I do shut down and try and limit some of it. And I think for me, since there's just so much information out in the public sector, I take a different approach. When it comes to privacy and security, too many people say, I'm going to restrict what's available to them or think that they can hide from uh, the internet. And I'm smart enough to know that that's not possible. It's just not. There's going to be telemetry. There's going to be things. I mean, just take cell phones, for instance. Everybody out in the audience, probably using a smartphone, that's collecting so much information on you. You just, oh, I'd make you sick. Uh, but obviously your OS does, your browser does. I mean, just everything does. And the best thing you can do to be private and secure, it's not like, hey, go watch this two hour long Edward Snowden talk about Cubes OS and compartmentalizing everything and making sure you're only using a, a flip phone that has, um, you know, <laughs> no LTE or, or 5G. Make sure you're only using 3G networks through this. You know, um, trust me, they're still going to get you. They're still going to get you. Unless you like literally walk out in the middle of the woods with zero electronics and have like a thousand acres around you. The way you do it is none of this high tech stuff. You just simply give all the wrong information every time you sign up for something and use a different name. There's plenty of people in chat have pseudonyms. Heck, they, they you know, I, I can think of a couple people right off the top of my head. They're like, hey, my name's not really uh, X, Y, or Z. You're doing it right. You give out bad information a whole bunch of places. So when they bundle up all that nice package to sell to somebody, it, it's just a bunch of nonsense. So I make sure I have at least three or four addresses on file that are all wrong. <laughs> so if someone tries to show up at my house, chances are they're going to show up at the wrong house. Um, or they try and call me. Chances are they're just not going to get anybody because you got the wrong phone number. And that's kind of how I approach privacy and security uh, is just to obfuscate it with bad data. And that's the, probably the best way in modern times to to protect yourself uh, using like VPN and all this other. No, that's not how you do it. Just give bad data. That's the best way to do it. Lots and lots of bad data.